welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here, Jaws Podiatry. Podiatry. Um, we have a young gentleman who, uh, a diabetic patient who five years ago uh, underwent a transmetatarsal amputation. Uh, the, the patient has done very well in the last couple of years. Um, I want to show everyone, you know, if anyone is wondering, well, how does the, if the patient, let's show the foot first a second. If, if this is the foot, right, they did the transmetatarsal amputation, well, how is he wearing this, right? Isn't his foot going to move up and down, right, like that? Well, I want everyone to look in there, okay? There is a filler, okay, right here. There's a filler. This is a, this is this is custom made. But there's only one problem. That I was I was just talking to the patient that he needs to go back to the to the to the people that fabricated. You know the the custom molded insert. Because as I've said it in the past, the callus never lies. Let's take a look here. So he's got a Giles enormous callus. And the reason why he has this here, obviously, you know, when, when, when we do these amputations, um, you know, there's, there's something that's called osseous derangement. And, you know, there's, there's something called a transfer lesion or transfer lesions. So, you know, he, my, my, my concern today is he's got this huge callus, number one. Number two, there's, there is um, some, a possible underlying ulceration. We're going to find out. I see, you know, this, this is dry blood here. So I'm going to ask you, patient, just to hold a foot right there, if that's possible. Are you okay, my friend? Okay, great. You know, so... You know, we'll start very carefully, take off the top cut. This is a big, big callus. Callus never lies. So what we need to do, put a little three we already. And even with the three we, you know, the callus is extremely, extremely tough. as everyone can see and hear. This is post three we soaking. And then once we start be really 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 careful this is like concrete I have a feeling, there it comes. There's an underlying hematoma. Bring your foot this way, there you go. 
It's an underlying hematoma there. That's gonna pop slowly right here. You'll see. This is where we have the ulcer. You see this? This is all soft. It's very boggy. There, it's like an intractable porokeratosis right here. You see that? How hard it is? We're just trying to remove all the, the callus tissue and the dry hematoma. It's a little bit, there was a In this area right here in the top corner. There are some little pockets that are uh, it, underneath that are. That are still, you know, have a little bit of. Of blood that hasn't coagulated completely it's moist you guys can all see in the middle here this is where we have a little bit you know a little ulcer very fragile Try to remove all this Here to the to the level where we want to be. Now, it's incredible how the body produces so much callus in such a short period of time. You know, and again, it's just that this this transfer lesion is, uh, you know, all his weight is located in one specific location, which is right here. Delitalized and soft here. The central portion is open here. Right there. It's probably been draining as well from there. your foot up here my friend there you go that'll give everyone this is this is where it's open right here so 
a lot of creases around here so we want to be really careful right that the that the blade doesn't get caught in one of the creases watch it happen now god forbid Okay. We're going to leave it right here. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I can already feel right here the bone. That's that's the problem here. And that's why we see the little opening right there. So what we're gonna Now, it's really important this patient um, is neuropathic, has no sensation. Um, he's very lucky that he was able to come in today because this could easily have turned to not such a great thing. And this is all of a sudden, what we basically see is a patient comes in, similar, you know, a spitting image of, a cl of this clinical presentation. We debride the callus and all of a sudden we have a gaping hole down to the bone. And that's how it happens. Because the patient is diabetic, feels absolutely nothing, doesn't know the callus is there, and it's just creating a deeper hole in the foot. So I'm not going to say lucky, but you're very fortunate that you came in today. So mm -hmm. that's a great thing. This close of it potentially being a catastrophe. So what we're going to go ahead and do is... Um, We'll make some further recommendations. Obviously, he's going to go back to the, you know, to the uh, to the company individuals that made the custom molded orthotic with the filler, and we definitely have to redistribute right this weight everywhere, and that's the goal. Okay. People, you know, a lot of people ask me, "Hey, Dr. Wagner." Doesn't your arm, your hand, anything hurt after you do this? No, it doesn't. Um, just wanted to put that out there. A lot, a lot of people ask me that. You'll be fine. I hope so. No. Yeah. No, we don't hope, mm. right? We have control over the situation. Mm. So as long as we make those necessary changes and we, and you put your, right, your part as a compliant patient, mm -hmm. everything's going to be fine. Okay. Don't hope. There's nothing. Okay. We have to think positive okay. and you're in the right place. You're in good hands okay. and feet.
As always, www.gelspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jealous Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jealous Healthcare. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the patient for allowing us to uh, film this uh, segment. And of course, as always, ooh, ooh, Caesar um, doing his, uh, his thang. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe. Um, extremely important. Have a wonderful day, everyone.